So, Byron, do you think the Nats should have uh, given uh, Soweto a huge atomic bomb? Obviously no, but I don't know where this is going. Right, do you know who wanted Soweto to be bombed from the air with uh, nuclear bombs? Uh, Jacob Zuma's political funder? <laughs> That's correct. Louis Liebenberg <laughs> had a few uh, racist voice notes come out over the course of last weekend. And he was very happy to say that, which we can't really uh, repeat, but it is on the screen for those who might watch it. He moans about non-believers. Um, and non-believers having 15 children, and that's apparently not very good. Um, but despite all that, he's quite happy to fund Jacob Zuma to the tune of 500,000 rand and give him a lot of cows. What on earth is going on? Don't you just love this country, Byron? It's such a great story, like a truly African story. You know what's great about the story is that it's a, it's a true story of revolutionary leaders. It's amazing how when you actually get down to it, like all the revolutionary re leaders always have this like, goal that they're fighting against. Let's remind ourselves that Jacob Zuma was very famous for uh, the uh, infamous media campaign against uh, white monopoly capital, noticeably the uh, Bell Pottinger saga that plagued obviously the country. And we still have the legacy of that today. And it's really interesting that one of the areas that he was really keen on is uh, redistribution of wealth along racial lines because he felt that uh, white people were basically a plague on the nation. And here he is, mate, taking 500 million from what appears to be Pretty hardcore racist what, mate? I mean, this guy seems like he could have come straight out of the Avia beer without any real struggles. I mean, I mean, he, he does want to, he did want to drop bombs, atomic bombs on Soweto in 94 because they would have killed nine, uh, they would have killed two million people and all he needed was nine atom bombs. But no, he says we had to listen to the rest of the world. So that wasn't, <laughs> so this war crime wasn't done. <laughs> come on, man. This is great. Let's be honest, Byron. This is like, Fantastic. Like the super uber racist giving money to Jacob Zuma so he doesn't go to jail. And isn't it always funny that when these kind of stories come up, what we actually find is that the true racists are funding those who are allegedly fighting against racism. Louis Liebenberg does say that, you know, the biggest problem with him is that, you know, swearing is part of his character. He actually blames his upbringing for this because he threatened to shoot his lawyer's brother because his lawyer's brother owes him 10 million rand and and the best thing is louis liebenberg has been reported to the south african human rights commission and then was acquitted on all charges so good man. Yeah. so good i don't know what else to say i don't know what else to say either i mean i look forward to the days that you and i get reported to the human rights commission we both know it's going to happen at some point and let's face it like we won't do anything we're a lot we're a lot more careful with what we say than these people but isn't it always funny that those in power don't feel that they have to hide anything they can be exactly who they want to be because they know the right people and they've got the right amount of money to get themselves out of trouble it's not hypocrisy it is hierarchy but uh someone who was asked to comment on this was cole Niehaus. You know, the only white man left in the ANC who is very worried about white privilege and, and things like that. And when he was asked what he thinks about Louis Liebenberg's racist utterances, uh, he basically says, uh, well, you are engaged in a smear campaign because Louis Liebenberg supports Jacob Zuma. It's all hearsay and therefore he won't talk about it. Nice, call me house. You, you, know, you know what really kind of goes to me, mate? It's like when we did that whole thing with... Uh... Herman Mashaba possibly leaving Action SA and everybody was like, oh, it's a smear campaign. You just shills for the DA. And you're like, we had the voice recording. We played it in our video. But no, it was still fake news, right? I mean, come on, man. Like, at what point are you just going into this blind and you're just believing what you want to believe for the sake of believing it? At the end of the day, let's just summarize what's actually happened. A massive, huge racist who really doesn't like black people, is supporting Jacob Zuma. There is only one conclusion to make. Jacob Zuma is getting him some kind of economic benefit, whether it be through mineral rights or car rights or some things happening behind closed doors in order to make this all worthwhile funding. That's the only logical solution. Anybody with a brain cell can see it. I'd probably respect these people a lot more if they just came out with it and just said it like it was. And it appears that Louis Liebenberg has done so because he did tell the journalist to go himself so i support that but the rest of it no mate i mean even even you don't support this and apparently jacob zuma likes keeping those guys as friends because he's indeed. getting his funding from him indeed and he also talks about the jewish cabal 
I don't know what he's talking about. Maybe this game, not hiring Whites. Who knows? Who knows? We're not in Louis Liebenberg's head at the moment, but it is very funny to me that Colney House, right, the big anti-racist, Jacob Zuma, the big anti-racist, are quite happy to take money from a racist. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Now you just have to answer one question. Do you like guns? Do you like a bit of recoil therapy? If so, why not go to EDB Firearms in the Hartebeersport area? They have a thousand meter long shooting range, one of the longest ranges in this country, as well as having indoor ranges, of course. But not only do they have fantastic ranges, they can help you with every single aspect of owning a firearm, from getting your competency, to obtaining a license, to buying the gun itself, and of course, every single accessory you need to make sure that you are well and fully armed in South Africa. And even if your license is pending, you can still use, test and shoot your gun at their premises while you're waiting for your license to arrive. They host regular family-friendly shooting events. They are open seven days a week. And if you're a Morning Shop subscriber, you get 5% off absolutely everything in store from range fees to weapons to anything. All you have to do is visit, call or email them and say Morning Shot for that 5% to apply. So don't wait, pull the trigger and check them out today, linked below.